Yes. I'm really trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I, I've done this the first time. <sighs> hmm. I'm not sure if the sound is coming out yet. Test. Can you guys hear anything coming out of the audio? I'm not sure if you guys can hear anything or see anything. It does nothing. That's what it does. Um, seems to me that this, um, this didn't solve my issue. At least not yet. Can't play the game without sound. Test. Low test, test, test. Um. Not sure if you guys can hear anything. Hello. This has to work. I've done this on YouTube. Um, okay, the webcam is on my issue. It's not uploading any audio yet.
trying to get this audio to work, but it's not working. Okay, okay, now I got it. I got it. I got it. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Now, we can get on with the game now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here. Um, welcome to another Twitch stream. This is Sly Cooper 3. Honor Among Thieves for the PlayStation 2. I'm playing this on the actual hardware. And no emulation. Um, even though I do have a PS2 um, emulator. I've been this game a bunch of times. Wait a minute. Um, I'm gonna have to restart this because I want to play it because I want to play it all the way through. Well, uh, not all the way through. I want to play this game from the beginning. This is an awesome game for the PlayStation 2. Excuse me. Camera options, vibration off. Let's start a new game. Uh, new game. This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pumps. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. Also, I can't really uh, uh, display my game on um, on my other monitor. Because I don't know why. So I'm going to be looking at my OBS. And um, and I'm going to be playing it through through here. The at least I could. Uh, at least I could um, watch the chat too. Thanks to new OBS's uh, update. I have to move. I have to move my OBS. I'm sorry, guys. Because I can't see a thing. Okay, this is um, this is fine for now. Okay. Jump and hit the circle button to walk on tight ropes. That wire connected to the truck might get you over the fortress wall. Agent heartthrob, 
Take up position for a Yank 86. Oh. I've got a visual. The ball has stopped rolling. We've got an obstruction. I'm on it. First is away. Second guy is pulled. Third skyward. Roll on, Paul. Also, this game is uh, pretty nostalgic for me. Let her rip, old rock. Ball's in position. Nice work. The ball's got a track. Over. Um, wait a minute, guys. I gotta make my webcam just a bit smaller. Wait a minute. That's better. That's way better. There. All requesting door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching. Stand clear. Okay, there. Very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Man, your son, uh, what's his name? Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too, yeah? What a shame you won't be seen again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear! No, you'll die. Any second now. Oh. 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 Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot haul. Over. I haven't played the original uh, Sly Cooper in years. Um, from what can I, from, from what I can remember, the only one thing that makes the game um, uh, really difficult is because of the one hit deaths. Honestly, I thought it was the most toughest, but very amazing animated game for my first slide game on the PS2. Um, I might never ever play the second game. Ever. Cooper! You must be Sly Cooper, the new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault. Hand over that cane. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. Group 
Um, I never played... I never played the fourth game in the series yet. say your life really does flash before your eyes there it all was stretching back to my childhood born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations I was next in line to continue the Cooper name but fate had different plans I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. Okay. Um, back to what I was saying. Uh... Save my progress, I know. Okay, the hazard room. Um, Sly Cooper, um, even though Sly, the original Sly Cooper was a great game and all, um, but our, wait a minute. Just turning it down a little bit. 
Um, I thought the original Sly Cooper game was an amazing game. The game was uh, very difficult at at certain levels. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say. Sly Cooper was a pretty good game. Even though I never played the... I never ever ever played the second game if in the we're series. Gonna make it to the Cooper vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Okay. All great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I'm projecting. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. I programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing here is perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. Um, I'm hoping. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. I'm hoping the uh, Sly Cooper movie will be out soon. But uh, Murray looks a little off. I don't know why they re redesigned his... Um, redesigned it him. I guess we'll, we won't know until it comes out. Hopefully. Great! Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Okay. Okay. Nice one down. I'm trying to get up here. Um. Okay, it's right there. been a while since I played this. Now wait and jump back over here. And 
There we go. Lucky good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, yep. but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Yep. Oh, dang it. Nope. Nah, never mind. Let's start with the episode. Episode 1. Inside a world class vault would take a team of world class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. I'm sorry guys, my 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 stream uh, dropped frames uh 2.3% frames uh, dropped. Okay. Go play a sly first. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Thank you. 
Police HQ. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Time no punch. See, you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time. God! Valencia! Wait! Okay. Now, cutting a deal with them. get their mitts on me. Who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open. But the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Leave. Okay, so that's not... Yeah, that was, a... that was not the right... No, never mind. That was the right answer. Um... Distract the cop so he can run away. Attention, then run for it. Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. <laughs> Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. All right, let's do it. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. <sighs> As we all know, the canals of Venice nah. have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the no. local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house now. Okay, nice got the key. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. <sighs> okay sorry guys my stream keeps dropping frames for whatever reason sorry about that okay have to say under the desk. Go. Oh, jeez. Wait for it. You look a lot better in the dark, Petros. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> Go. Keep your hands to yourself, Leon. Wait until you come back on. On, off, on, off. Ooh. 
Okay. Wait until they come back on. I can see, da! I can see! Oh, come on. Ah. No. Dang it. I went the wrong way. Let there be light. Hmm. This is sucking. You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> Make up your mind already. Okay. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once um, the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in. Uh, why would I do that? Why don't you just use the D-pad? It's much easier. Except for that. Um... When the first time I played this part, I had no idea what I was doing. Until I never discovered this. Oh wait, I have discovered this. Thank you. Just use a D-pad. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge. Big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper! Grab him, man! And I'm out. Um, hello. She said, grab him. And they just did nothing. Hmm. Like, what the heck? You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. And I'm out. Yeah, like the mercenaries would help you out. Nope. Dang it. Ooh, that was very close. both ways that's right hide in the sewers like the rat you are thanks for the quick escape i owe you one again 
Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Marie, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru and his wisdom told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? <laughs> training no I already know how to play have to find my location have to go over there where the ferris wheel is at Try not to get caught here. Go over there. Let's ride on the Ferris wheel. Nah, never mind. No! <laughs> I love that move. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so, so there is my location. Sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you could get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the dirt on his operation. Okay, have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch appears to be an ideal way to slip in undetected. Head down there and we'll meet up in a few minutes. <laughs> okay.
beat sync. I got on there the first time. There we go. Octavio is known to rely on 3D technology to secure his property. In order to see the security measures, we'll need to utilize these depth optimizer goggles. Functional and fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley. Oh, I forgot to mention this game has a uh, 3D capabilities. Yeah, it's a uh, 3D compatible. No 3D for me. Because I don't have no 3D glasses. I assume, but not anymore. To open this door, we'll need to press the 3D security buttons at exactly the same time. Okay? On my three. One, two, three. Nice. Looks like Octavio is fond of this 3D synchronized security system. Let's do it. One, two, three. All right. Drat, my booster won't be enough to make it to that next door. I've made a number of improvements to my wheelchair, but none that can float me through this canal. Don't worry about it, pal. I'm sure I'll find a way across. And there seem to be plenty of boats hanging around to make a nice bridge for you. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Okay. Good evening to you, my fine, fine associates. Octavio here. I am pleased to report that the DAS suction levels are at all time high. However, it saddens me to report that some of you haven't been keeping in time with the orchestra. You know what I mean. I'd like to see Mark, Raphael, and Julius in the main vacuum room immediately. We're gonna discuss your retirement package. And if any of you catch these boys, make a run for it. Well, should I make a back? Thanks for the assist, Sly. Maybe I can return the favor with some well-placed explosives. Okay, stand back. Thanks, pal. This door is made of four inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. My bombs won't make a dent. See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. Well, nice of you two to stop by for a little fatherly advice. Julius made a rug for it and uh, the curtain fell. Now, normally I'd whack a bomb, yeah. But it's a carnival and I'm feeling charitable. So I think of something else. Okay. We got through here. This room's empty. Crawl a little farther. They've got to have a lock switch somewhere. It's over here. Okay. 
Here's the deal. You two stoolies are gonna be in my new eyes and ears. I can't let no one get near my demolition switch or sabotage any part of the operation down here. If you hear any noise from inside of the family that someone's uh, not content, then you tell me straight out. I can't be taking no chances this close to a short time. Got it. Thank you.